valid point that you have raised that it's parents told by the moral values of the teacher. But don't you agree, sir, with the hectic schedule that the student goes through nowadays? Where is the time for them to learn the moral values? I, mean, I feel morality is now taking the back stage and the student is finding his day very hectic and he is unable to balance his uh, way. No, I mean, uh, it is a uh, little surprising for me to hear anyone who invests time on a particular area, that area will go. If you do not invest time in knowing the moral values, if parents do not spend time with their kids, that kid will go out and spend time with someone that someone might create or destroy. Anything on which you invest time will grow. If a student invests time on a particular subject, subject skills will grow. He spends time on understanding a programming language, his programming language skills will grow. So, it is not the question of whether he has got time or not, it is the question to find out whether he is spending time in wrong direction. If he is spending time in wrong direction, because it's a cool thing to do, he will get skilled in that wrong direction. And wrong direction may be becoming immoral in life. So I think it's all about, I think, you and me know the fact that, can we go ahead and change the sentences which we uttered two minutes before? No. Anyone who respects time and who knows how to manage a time will eventually make it very, very big in life. Because all the successful people knows one thing, how to manage time. So it's a very valid point that you've uh, faced that all great people know how to manage time. But my view is that, or it's rather the view of the world that people become great not just because they know how to manage time, but because they have very high moral values. I mean, the reason why we talk so heavily about Abdul Kalam or the reason why we talk so heavily about Ratan Tata is because they not just knew how to do things or get things done, but they also had very high moral values. Now, isn't it surprising, Pranay? We talk about high moral values in the class, but in a schooling system, that subject is often ignored and that period is actually used to fill the subject, like maths, physics and chemistry. It is very, very surprising to me that completing maths syllabus is of utmost priority rather than teaching moral values in life. And it hurts me off also, if I look at a student who is very, very successful in life, but does not know how to take care of the parents and does not leave a value-based life but materialistic it's very successful. I think the success is incomplete if you do not get a good character in the world that you are living. At, at, at least this is what I believe in. Sir, so I agree that these moral values are important and in fact parents try their best to suggest these moral values to students and teachers also do that. But why is society not respecting or giving these moral values a high no, I, I, I strongly believe that uh, there are certain things which I completely disagree the way few pro systems are running. First thing is, we consider knowledge to be a powerful tool. Knowledge is not a powerful tool, it's a utility. Application of knowledge is what it gives power to the knowledge. We often label the student who is, who gets Good marks in any subject considered to be an intelligent guy. Intelligence and career are two different things. A student who is a topper in the class may not become super successful in life. A student who is the last venture with a bad class does not mean that he will be a greatest failure in life. And if any student got less marks in any subject, we often label them saying that you are not intelligent. He is differently intelligent. We often teach our students only the syllabus. By teaching them only the syllabus, we are confining their ability to be good in a core competent area. Parents do this mistake, inculcating a lot of self-esteem into their kids. We have to teach self-belief into the kids, not self-esteem into their kids. And I've seen a lot of Teachers, I is oscillating between the best rankers and the naughty students in the class. That's the biggest blunder a good teacher can do it in the class. Let us, we don't need to teach anything to a primitive kid who is doing schooling. A children can learn on his own. 
please give him the necessary space, tools and a trust. We often, have you seen few teachers who started their careers in teaching? Who insults a student who asks a lot of doubts in the class? But disobedience is the root cause for any revolution in this world. Let us respect the disobedience. Let us encourage the students to debate with us in the class. Even parents should encourage their kids to ask a lot of questions. In fact, by asking a lot of questions only greatest breakthroughs in life happens. In the search of getting an answer for an, that unanswered question only greatest revolution emerges. There are a lot of myths. I think right from the parents to the teachers. I can say this with experiential authority because I am disobedient right from my early stages of my life and the world calls me as a successful person. For me, I have always done things which I am extremely passionate about. Not someone around me asked me to do it. I think there is a lot of correction required for me in the current way the parenting happens and an education system happens. And I am very sad to say that we live in a world of an examination system, not an education system. Again, I will repeat, education is empowering a child. Education is not just making him believe that if you get marks, you will get a job. Career and education are two different things.